Ideas for a game can sound great on paper, but don't quite live up to the expectations when finally produced. Those were the feelings I had when first playing Crater during its beta. The launch version, however, has washed away all of my doubts. Crater is not your standard post-apocalyptic action RPG. There is color, life, and vibrancy here. Venture out in the wilderness and you'll see plenty of trees, grass, and flowers. A stark contrast to the desert locales the genre usually settles for. Crater takes place in a massive crater located in Sweden, of all places, which was spared the brunt of the global nuclear war. Don't let the colorful scenery lull you into false confidence. Crater bills itself as a hardcore RPG. Blending elements of RTS games and an MMO-like tab targeting system, Crater has you managing a party of three. Mismanage your party and they will either get wounded or take a permanent injury. Enough injuries and that character is dead. Permanently. To avoid this situation, you can outfit your squad with stronger weapons, ability boosters and biological implants. Ability boosters add buffs to specific skills. Implants buff individual member stats. While seemingly simplistic at first, once you craft or acquire a wide variety of implants, you'll be able to build each character in a manner of your choosing. Combat in Crater is real time. There's no pause function to be found here. The combination of possible permadeath and no quick save and load forces you to sit up and play carefully and tactically. It adds a sense of danger that other games lack. Each member of your squad will bring two abilities to the table. A tank class will bring two abilities that generate threat. A ranged DPS class offers crowd control abilities, and the healing class offers healing abilities. Managing these abilities correctly is the key to victory. Just like a party in an MMO, make sure your tank has the enemy's attention and drain down their health bars with your supporting members. Using the implants and booster system mentioned earlier allows you to craft the members to your style of play. Don't want to take a medic with you? Boost your tank's stamina stat and watch his health points skyrocket. You won't need to heal him, but he also won't hit very hard. When you get the three systems, combat, implants, and member selection working to how you like it, you realize the enormous possibilities Crater offers. Another trait Crater borrows from MMOs is the late game. I found as I started to approach the end of the episode, enemies were tougher than my max level party. This forced me to seriously consider the boosters and implants I had attached to my party members. It also forced me to go out into the world and find enough gold to buy advanced implants, or the crafting supplies to make advanced implants. It's like grinding for epic gear in an MMO, but you'll find the process to be much faster and as a result, more rewarding in Crater. It's nice to see the game focus and strategy change after playing it for 10 hours. It manages to bring some fresh air to the experience. Crater manages to take a unique spin on an established genre. At first, this genre blending can feel like it was a better idea on paper than what Fat Shark managed to deliver. But, as you break out of the game's initial levels, the mechanics manage to reach a better realization. For $15, Crater has immense value. With customization, random dungeons, and forthcoming multiplayer, this may be the best $15 you'll spend this summer. I have already managed to get 15 hours of playtime out of Crater. So whether it's the great bargain or a fresh take on an old genre, Crater should be on your radar. Crater is available now directly from developer Fat Shark Studio or on most digital distribution platforms. Pick it up now and be ready for multiplayer, which should be available in the coming months.